Hello everyone, my name is Hiteshi Kirk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create animations using a sprite sheet. Imagine you have to create a running character or maybe a flying bird. How would you do that? You have to grab different images for different states and then you animate it. It's a time consuming process. And again, it's not optimized for web. But using sprite sheet, you can create an animation which is optimized and easy to create using Adobe Animate CC. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to import this sprite sheet. I can do it either using the asset panel or I can go to file menu, click on import and I can import the PNG file here. So this is my file. This is the PNG and you can see that it has a lot of state of this character. And to make it an animation, I need to make only one state visible at a time. And to do that, I'm going to use CSS property called clip. Clip property lets you specify the dimension of an absolutely positioned element that should be visible at a given point of time. So here on the left hand side, we have a property called clip and that's what we are going to use to create the animation. I'll just go ahead and enable it. So what it does, it creates a div and make this image as a background image. So we will be switching between the background image and the top frame will remain the same. And here we need to add some grid lines so that we can easily add keyframes. So what I'm going to change, I'm going to change the grid. So I'm changing the grid to one tenth of the second, right? And here I enable the visibility. So you can see that these grids help us place the object at the right position at the right time. I'm going to define the uh, clip size, but before that, let's add some grids so that we can place the object correctly within the grids. So I'll just go ahead and create a grid here and we will be placing our object within the grid. So here I'll go ahead and change the clip position, say 400, 400, and we'll adjust it by dragging and dropping it. So here I'll just go ahead and adjust the clip and say make it around this much, which is 305 pixels. So you can see that right now only one state of this character is visible. So what we need to do, we need to add the two keyframe, one for the clip size and the second for the background image. Now let's add another keyframe so that we can make it an animation. So here I can go ahead and change the background position where we just need to drag it and align it properly like this and that's it. So you can see that we are only changing the X position right now because we need the next state, right? Y is zero. So I'll just add a new keyframe here. So you can see that keyframe is just added and I need to add the clip property. Let's try to play it. Now you can see that there is a transition here right so what we missed we did not disable the auto keyframe mode and the transition we don't need transition here because in that case it will look different it will not look real because there will be a transition between changing two states so here we need to disable the auto transition and the auto keyframe so i'll just go ahead and delete it and we'll start it again so here i'll just change the position back to zero and we are going to add a new keyframe once again. So here we have added the keyframe. Let's move forward. Just change the X position. Right here. Okay. So now you can see that the position is changed or the background position is changed. I'll just add another keyframe here and another keyframe for the clip. Though we haven't changed the clip size, but we might need to change the clip size, so it's better keep adding keyframes for clip and the background together. Now let's move forward. Uh, on the next timeline, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the background position of this object. So you can see that, I'll just go ahead and drag it and say this much, right? Now you can see that the little bit of the image is not coming within the frame. So what I'm going to do, I'll just increase the clip. So the complete image should come up here. It's around 312 pixel, right? I'll just add a keyframe again 
and keyframe for the background position. So now you can see that here the position is changing. Now you can see that it's look like character is running. That's the only thing you have to do. You need to just move your background image from X position or the Y position and you need to specify your clip size and that's it. You are done with the animation. So let's add one more keyframe. So I'll just move further and change the background position. Say like this, right? Looks fine. And I'll just add the keyframes. So here you can see that this is where we started. Now character started running. Here you can see that. Yeah. Now let's add one more. I'll change the background position again. Okay. Now we don't have anything there, right? So I'll just change it to back to zero. And I'll just change the Y position first. Here. Now we are changing only the Y position. So you can see that. Now I'll just align it within the clip. And now you can see that this is still not coming within the clip. So what I'm going to do, I'll increase the clip size. Just, right? And here, I'll just increase the clip size a bit. Here. But now the other state is also coming in this particular frame. So I'm going to make it smaller, right? Like this. And I'll just add a keyframe. Now you can see that this character is running like this. This is what you need to do with all your states. Once you're done with all the states, now this is what you get in the end. You can see that I have added keyframes for all the states and our animation is ready. I need to press command and enter to view it in the browser and you can see that our character is running absolutely fine. I'll just refresh it again and you can see that it's running absolutely fine. And now you can add a trigger to play it in the loop or you can export it as a symbol and then use it in your animations wherever you want. So you just create once and use these symbols in your animations again and again. You can make a game out of it or you can create a stunning animations using these symbols. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.